Hi, I'm David with IFS Coatings. I'm the Technical Service Manager. And today we're going to talk a little bit about craters in a powder coated finish. What is a crater or a fisheye? It's basically a contaminant that is on either the surface or has manifested itself on the top of the coating, which can go all the way to the surface or from the surface out or can make a crater on top of the powder coated surface. Now typically these can be from a contaminant like silicone, oil or water, either misted in the air or in the, oil, the airlines themselves. One other way of getting craters is by contamination of other powder coatings. Some coatings are and can contaminate other materials. Different coatings can actually crater different products and even at different ratios, like as low as 1%. So if you find this and if the oil and the water don't appear, you want to be very careful about when you go from one color change to the next. Another problem with craters and fish eyes can be with two dissimilar chemistries. If you have a floral polymer and a small amount getting into a polyester coating, you can run into a problem with craters or fish eyes. Some of the ways that you can guard against craters or to help prevent craters or fish eyes forming onto your parts is one, you want to be sure that any your airlines that you have good filtered air coming into your powder coating equipment. This is always a good point of preventive maintenance and by checking your filters that you have on your powder coating system and if you ever see any oil or water building up on the inside, you should go back and check and make sure that your coalescing filters or if you have any other kind of filtration on your system is being checked. The other being with two dissimilar chemistries and one powder product contaminating the other powder coating product, you should be very careful when you make color changes. In some cases, you may even want to have dedicated hoses for the two dissimilar chemistries to help prevent it. Now, everything else needs to be clean, whether it be the uh, pickup tubes that are either in a fluidizing hopper or in a box feeder, or the pumps themselves. The pump should also be disassembled, blown out, make sure they're completely clean before between each color change or if you're changing chemistries. And as I said to the hoses, then you also get into the guns themselves. They should be taken apart. All the common areas, the throat tubes, the nozzle should all be blown out and cleaned prior to going to the next color. Some of the other items too that can also cause craters and fish eyes can be products like silicone, buckshot preventers, and other products containing certain types of silicones, waxes, and other items. We have also even seen where certain types of deodorants, hairsprays, and other items of this nature also that were being used that have gotten onto the substrates that are about to be powder coated. So take note not to have or to check what type of products are being brought into your coating operation to prevent the fish eyes and craters from forming on your substrate. In the case of fish eyes versus craters as far as appearance, craters are a little bit more severe usually they go all the way down to the substrate. There could even be, if you look under magnification, you in some, some cases can see, you know, a little black dot or whatever the contaminant could be. Craters are usually more on the surface, not going all the way down to the substrate. So either one of these, if you are talking to 
your coating's professional, you may want to bring out if in fact it's just a crater on the surface or if it's a fisheye that goes all the way down to the substrate.